So we're listening to a Sibo Motto album. So the last one we listened to was uh, really, really fucking weird. Uh, something that, well, one of the songs from it people know for being part of um, Jet Set Radio. Uh, but apparently this next album is more popular. In fact, it's also more acclaimed overall. In the previous project, I literally said if I was to add all the scores of everything together, it would probably be like a 6 minus. But I ended up giving it a 7 plus because I thought it was one of the most unique and strange experiences of an album I had in a minute. Um, and I'm excited to see if Stereotype A basically holds up to that uh, because, yeah, that, that previous project was really unique. So... I'd, I'd be shocked if I didn't at least get something out of Stereotype A. First song, Working for Vacation. And thank you again, Ryan, for the 500. Sounds like a bad idea, Terexia. That Discord. Working for vacation, walking for meditation, watching television for as long as I want. I'm still trying to figure it out for myself, so. There's two Shushu albums on here. That's amazing. said the queue is kind of crazy right now pretty much starts off the album with a uh work is tough waiting for the weekend kind of sort of song which i like uh, stylistically and thematically does a decent job of sort of setting things up with also head in the clouds uh, the image i feel like is very appropriate to what this song is going for so uh honestly great start uh, thematically appropriate and interesting enough. Uh, we give it a smiley ball. Starts things off, I'd say, more clear than the other album. Or again, it was very abstract, and I'm hoping at least that this album isn't boring uh, with going about things. Like you say, uh, it's less abstract and it's more accessible compared to the debut. Still unique and creative. Songwriting improved. Overall, another great album from them. I realize I didn't even see your fucking or read your message, so I apologize. Uh, there's, there's apparently also their second album where the previous one was their debut. Uh, so yeah. That was incredible. 9.6118 out of 10. How the f
I'm sorry, what? Yo, explain yourself before I permanently ban you for this this amount of decibels. Four decibels, bro. Check out this van. Wait. No. Did someone. Huh? Wait, someone must have told me this is. Are you serious? The singer of the band saying is Noodle? In Gorillas? How the fuck? What? Someone must have told me that at some point. How the. Huh? What? What? No, of course you've told me before, but I forgot. That's Noodle. Several times. Well, I forgot several times. All right, what can I say? Life's busy. Okay, we're out here stacking fat Benjis, you know? You don't got time for no, you know, information and shit. Anyways, uh... Anyways, that's sick. I want low main now. I, you know, I don't, as much as I want to call that racist, I don't think that's racist.
Spoon is not nearly as interesting as some of the more obscure cuts on the previous album. Even though it's more obviously cleaned up, I think that's lacking the uh, incredible personality and strangeness that the previous project had. Right now, I find this album to be, like you say, more polished, um, but many degrees less interesting. I would say it's a shrug for me for sounding fine, but not really pushing it past the limit or really giving me something instantly that I find worth exploring in this track. Good enough listen, but definitely, again, a, a disappointment for, again, like you could see with the writing, not a lot to pull out of here. Even with the straightforwardness of the previous album, I at least respected the risks being taken. Um, this kind of just seems very loungy and safe in comparison. Flowers. Speaking of loungy, bro, is this not that one song? Do it again. Thoughts on Fantano Square for the new Bring Me the Horizon album? I think Fantano is just wrong. To the point where I don't even feel like I'm dressing it. Sean Lennon? Who the fuck is Sean Lennon? Sounds like a parody of a guy who I've heard of before. Forgot his name. Right, to be honest, you have similarly crazy reviews to Fantano? Yeah, I take pride in that. I have very visceral, strong opinions, which I feel like if you're going to review, you know, take it seriously. You know, stick to your guns. Feel the way you feel about stuff. Don't be afraid to change either. It, oh yeah, this significantly predates, right? Oh, not significantly, but it's pretty close. Not really feeling this one either. Um, just really safe music right now. Like, again, I have absolutely no deeper interest in this. Like, I did Viva La Women, which is what I was hoping for, especially with how grand and interesting that was. Like you say, it's less abstract and more accessible, but uh, for me, that's, you know, it's it's bittersweet. Where it's like, yeah, it's definitely more instantly listenable, but about a thousand times less memorable and impressionable. Uh, would give this song as well a shrug. Um, for, again, being listenable, but not going to remember it. Lent of Love. Six minutes. Yeah. Ooh. Caribbean. Hard to believe, but you think it's not quite. 
Sam Brad making bank? You're damn right. Also, isn't it crazy we started at a normal time this stream? Hidden feature? What the fuck? Song is a bit more interesting to me. I kind of like this one. Your hidden lyrics, I know. Lyrics just stop. It means crazy food. That honestly makes wait. It means crazy food. You do realize that that actually like makes so much sense with this album. Like, look at the titles and like the the odd food themes here. It means crazy food. Why didn't anyone fucking tell me that? Wait, that actually makes so much sense. Which also makes this shit make less sense. You know I have hairspray in my hair right now? Lint tastes great, what do you mean? Joe Static want? What's want? Oh my god, hi. Hey baby, I have my uh, coffee out there. Mind uh, taking that, like, some, uh, and some and... Oh, and, um, oh, oh, oh. Easily the most interesting song of the album so far. Definitely a favorite. Oh, it's the lowest rated so far. Wow. Oh, it's the first two or three album. Oh, God. Give it a six. Yeah, Lint to Love is groovy. It reminds me of some of the most interesting dance stuff of the 90s while also, again, having a trip-hop flair to it, a, a random rap feature and being six minutes and really not dull throughout any of it. I think this is honestly the most solid track so far, most interesting song, and kind of what I was hoping for uh, with the previous tracks, but hopefully we'll continue on as the track list progresses. Uh, definitely a very promising song to have in here. I'm going to give it a smiley ball.
Was it like in the chip hop elements? Yeah, it was a nice touch. Moonchild. DJ Khaled, we the best! We the best! We know!
Moonchild is uh, basically solving a lot of the issues where if you're going to go straight forward, make sure you do it this incredibly well-rounded. Um, I think this is one of those that still is very repetitive, but more lyrically interesting, as I think Moonchild in general is an interesting little phrase. And to have something so jazzy and smooth attached to that is an instantaneous aesthetic. Um, a really great track, something that I fell into without very much effort and just sort of took me along with lots of fantastic little instrumental pieces like that guitar, dun 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 dun, uh, carrying it along. Uh, definitely one of the best, a nine minus. Sci-fi wasabi. Oh. Thank you, BM. <laughs> we won. Shut the hell up. No winning in music, only losing. What's up, B? What's up, B? I'm searching the city for sci-fi wasabi. The start button has been pushed already. Obi-Wan Kenobi is waiting for me. Union Square, my wheel needs repair. Yo, is Joey Valance and Bray? My bike specializes in the nitty gritty. New York City never had equality. It's reality, economic duality. Where are my manities? Tell me my sanity. Ain't no analogy for individuality. Yeah, there you go, for immunity for multiplicity. That's Make it up uh, as public as possible. Where's your identity? Our name is stereotype in the name. I got to get the shit straight. Vision of stupidity is made of vanity. Keep your quality up in the sky. I sell crack and I sell dope. I don't use the shower soap. Remember when I used to get crack from the Pope? Remember when I used to sell soap? Yeah. Anyway, my hair turns great day by day. Don't erase your points, you got your pace. Don't waste your days, get your inner space. Don't give me a chase, I'm a safe mark's place. Feeling so bully, not rugby old. I'm trying to the vampire energy. slayer. I never watched that show. But Biologically, let your sister know. Honestly, it seems pretty Here fitting. Your twin hopper, you can hold the nose of her water. Pass the bobic, no wonder her fingers are smooth like butter. It's specific. This is more familiar to what I was expecting from this album. The lyrics actually mean anything? You know, probably not. But it's really fun this, this time around. And again, esoteric. Let it mean something to them. Whatever. Burgers. Remember when my dog used to be the hamburglar? Remember when I used to say that I'm doing bloody murder? Yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck who he is. Remember when I was excelling past my peers? Remember when they was mad cause I said shout out to Piers Morgan? This is by far the most gorillas feeling track, honestly, of the entire project, and maybe of everything that I've heard from this artist so far. Um, yeah, and I love that about it, because that is, again, what has me interested in this project in the first place, uh, is, again, sounds that are like that, create some sort of unique vibe uh, that is a little out there, a little odd, a bit alternative, but still scratches an itch. 
Uh, Sci-Fi Wasabi is that. I think this is a great, really fun song. It's a smiley ball for me. Amazing. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> All right. Clouds. Beatbox is oddly familiar. The, the, the super. Super. Sounds incredible. It's really winning me over. Oh, jeez, Rick. dance this album honestly it's hard to disagree with Clouds is a remarkable little moment here with beatboxing and really psychedelic strange moments with, uh, again, really interesting lyrics. Um, it is the strangeness I've been looking for from this album, and because it's showing up so heavy, like, like, it's showing up all at once right now, I find it to be really enjoyable. Uh, and also, it makes some of the earlier moments that weren't as exciting feel more impactful and important um, because it's showing that it still has it recontextualizing and showing that they're not falling off actually they are just warming up early on uh, for some of the stranger ideas which i love uh, smiley ball this album is winning me over big time next song speechless I am so michael jackson amazed michael phelps amazed O.J. Simpson. I heard a mic. Not recently.
Hey. I'm gonna say this, and I feel like people might get offended by this because don't get me wrong, too, completely different, right? But like, let's compare. God, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm so sorry. Mori Calliope. Okay, I'm comparing. I'm gonna compare this with Mori Calliope real quick because I think that there is a certain charm uh, and style here that you can honestly say is similar uh, with a goofiness to it uh, that I think works so much more authentically here. I know, of all places to pull, but it just showed up on my mind like this. Don't clean my life with your style. Don't make my mouth water. Don't make me want to slaughter. If you give me a dishwasher, don't clean my life with your style. Like, this, this, the way that it's kind of goofy and loose, um, with a bit of a swing and hip-hop flair to it, I, I feel like is reminding me of why Mori is so bad and this is so good. Because, again, I think it comes down to an authenticity with this style that is just so uh, instantly natural, you know? Why are we comparing a scrub to the goat, Mori? Okay, okay, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll disappear. This album's gone from um, a lack of appreciation to the weirdness to an extreme appreciation for the cohesiveness, as these tracks are all synergizing really well.
Yeah, so I've been thinking at the start, I was hoping it'd be a good blend of weird and cohesive, and you're right. Oh, yeah, no, it's actually managed to toe that line so cleanly um, that all I'm feeling right now is a genuine sense of a cheer and enjoyment for, again, the more low-key style and honestly more focused aesthetic. Uh, this is fucking awesome so far. I mean, yeah, my mind has kind of gone 180. Another smiley ball would probably change most of the scores to a smiley ball. I'm finding this to be uh, just a remarkably joyful listen at the moment. With, again, a, a more low-key approach. It's on King of Silence. More like King of Science. <laughs> uh, got him. I heard new black dresses. I heard a couple songs that I thought were pretty good. What's on the record so far? Start off, and I thought it was too safe. And I've done kind of a 180 on it. Rating on this song out of t seven decimal places, sure. It's only halfway done, but I give it a. I'll be honest though, I think I made up the last six decimals. I think I just clicked them randomly. Horn solo from the. <laughs> popular uh, series Band Wars. I made a... Oh, man, I gotta find this. I'll find it if it kills me. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Pause everything. So can I go on that beat? To Megan Trainer Timeless, I did actually. That slide song where the soundbite came from? Yes, that is where the soundbite came from. Slide by Disco Crips. <laughs> Very interesting song indeed. Despite all the people saying that uh, King of Silence is their favorite song, I just find it to be an alright little track from this album. Still a smiley ball. Still enjoy it, but overall, not one of the most notable. Um, Next song, Blue Train, which... Where's, wait, was that... Huh? Did we listen to Backseat? The fuck is Backseat? It's not even on this goddamn album. Triple question mark. Yeah! A great stream. Thank you, Tyler. Yeah, it's been pretty great so far. I definitely need a little bit of a break. Need the most. There we go. Perfect. Tell me this and so much more, but don't tell me I have to go. What's the bonus track on the vinyl? Where's my self control? It must be new here. The hell is that name and that currency? Shit, though. Just when you 
they're like timeless. But the Megan Trainer album? I thought it was better than her last album. And I thought it was one of those albums where you can laugh along with it. Like, I like the T-Pain collabs a lot. But outside of that, I wasn't crazy about it. Up like indeed. Timeless by Ron Brass. Is that his pop song? Oh, it's yeah. Oh, yeah, time. Uh, probably my favorite song so far. I think uh, Blue Train is awesome. Uh, easily the most interesting. Easy 10 for you. I'll put it like this. If Lottie's here, I wouldn't put it on the playlist, but I would actually agree. I'm feeling... Um, the riff kind of stinks, but you know what? The fact that it turns into a train and whatnot, it's like really conceptually interesting. Um, yeah, my favorite so far, just really cool track, um, fun. I love the rocket-oriented elements. There's just a lot going on here that I think is just really exciting for me. Um, it, I just think it does a lot. Just, just really fun. Like, I, I love this. I love this a lot. Um, I love this. I think this is super creative, but again, um, like lo-fi and experimental in a way that is super accessible. Top five songs about trains. Bro, I thought I had autism. Oh my god. Anyways. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> hey soul sister that's not a song about trains that's a song by train i don't know i don't like it well you don't have to listen anymore sunday part one followed by sunday part two we'll just let it all play out the song's kind of mid one of the few on the album you don't like really there's a good handful of songs on that album i don't like Carmen feature. Listen, Carmen is like Iggy Azalea. The space sessions, you just a failure. Uh, 
I'm gonna impale you with a knife. I'm gonna take your life. And I take your wife. And I'm white. Yeah, Edgar, this album's great. It's really great. Michael Jackson. That's an attempt from Fantano. I don't agree. But I also think that it is a generational album, so... I only disagree so much, you know? I also think Charlie was better. I mean, I think Charlie is a great album. Like, I'm not going to argue with that. I think he's given tens to albums I've enjoyed less than Charlie. The like Kitsy Ghost. Alright, that's part one. I liked it. Hallie Minow. I'll look up that name and see if I've even listened to a full album. I don't think I've heard a single one of these albums. Yeah. Oh yeah, the uh, cartoon album. I gotta listen to that again. That was a fun listen. Really wild album. Can't get you out of my head. Yeah, I've heard that, yeah. used to be a lot worse. I think it's grown back a lot. It's a work in progress, a repair in progress, if you will. How'd I fix it? Uh, well, let's just say I implanted hairs from other places and stitched them into my forehead, okay? song, how do you get a refund? What was your song, Krishna? Let me see if I can find it for you. What was the name, uh, the display name? These two songs are nice, yeah, they come to each other.
Sunday is a great little uh, double-sided moment here in the middle of this album. Well, actually near the end here that I think goes over extremely well. Uh, really awesome. Smiley Ball. Yeah, this album is really great. Like, surprisingly great. Something that, again, took a while to get into, but I've been absolutely loving this journey. Like, every step of the way. That next song, Stone. simple. Uh, not much happens, but I like it regardless. Stone is still good. Mortming. Are we giving an MGK not good if not for you? Um, I don't know if he would, but I think it was more likely if I didn't that he would have. It is a dead drop zero, the, the uh, MGK album. Or EP or whatever. So, I don't know. Have been playing any video games lately? I'm getting tired of them. The game is getting tired. Oh, it's MGK actually, also. We stand the grind. We stay on the grind. 
all day and night. Tell me the most awful lies. Hey, this goes hard. Is that soundbite from Stars from uh, Fun? Artist Fun. Big Sinna would kill this beat? Probably, yeah. Bitches love Big Sinna. Song is strange. Yeah, but it fits everything so far. I'm feeling pretty confident about where I stand with this album. Also, apparently it's the last song, but I'll still play the one afterwards. I think I was paid to listen. No, wait, no, this is just the last song. Why does it say this? Another song here, country. I don't know. Ah, stereotype A. A stereotype. I see. I'm picking that up. Represent the gang. In my opinion, this uh, this album actually I enjoy more than the previous one. Uh, it took a while to get there, but I actually think that this is significantly more focused, though less daring and strange. I think the song quality has just taken a step up overall with Stereotype A. Uh, I think it's more futuristic, pretty forward thinking as well. Uh, it still continues to be um, quite an interesting project but also honestly a lot more listenable i would just give this overall a solid eight um, whereas originally with it starting i would have not been surprised if i gave it a five or a six but as it continued it just was having a winner every single track you want me to wear it right now i'll wear the black and yellow one all right guys i'm gonna change shirts um but yeah this is honestly a really awesome album i enjoyed this yeah uh, like more than the previous one which is cool especially since you know, it's always fun when an album starts off and I'm just, like, not feeling it. And then as it goes on, it's, like, the full picture, like, just unfolds. And they're just showing their hand as, like, very creative individuals and artists. And uh, that is what Stereotype A felt like. Something that gave me a full experience that I wasn't expecting. Um, and, yeah, I'm, I'm just very happy with this project. Uh, would probably return to it as well, as there feels like a lot to gain out of it. And is given a thumbs up as well.